In our first story, the Speaker of Parliament, Edward Do Ajaho, has ordered the Deputy Local Government and Rural Development Minister designate John Oti Bless to apologize to the Chief Justice for making derogatory remarks about her. In a comment on the matter in the House Friday, he said he did not want the House and the head of another arm of government to have any problems. The Deputy Local Government and Rural Development Minister designate John Oti Bless is yet to be approved by the House. The fate of the Nkwanta North MP hangs in the balance after he, together with the Muntie Three convicts, were accused of making contemptuous comments against the Chief Justice and the judiciary. The minority in Parliament wants the Deputy Minister designate to pay for his contemptuous comments. The Speaker has been petitioned for the nominee to be rejected by the House, having already been vetted by the Appointments Committee of Parliament. But the Speaker said it is important for the Member of Parliament involved to offer an apology, otherwise it will serve as a dangerous precedent. As a result of those comments, I have spoken to the gentleman. I have discussion with some leaders in leadership both sides and I convey the position to the leaders and the member involved. The deputy majority leader on behalf of the Nkwanta North MP said he had written an official apology. The member, the member or the nominee is now in the house and is ready, to make is ready Mr. Speaker, to apologize to the Chief Justice to the house and to the whole country for all that they are saying. But the speaker said he has not received any communication. I would have wished the proper thing to do is to show the content of the apology to the chair. I've not seen it. I've not seen a copy. The apology letter was then handed over to the speaker amidst heckling from the minority. The majority and minority leaders gave their closing remarks as it was the last sitting of the second meeting. The speaker, in his closing remarks, urged members to keep the country peaceful since many will be embarking on the campaign trails. The House was adjourned for its third meeting.